so cute. I love it. It's like I want to keep it, but I'm not going to because that's just crazy. And it's so weird how they ship everything separately. Slightly bigger one. Let me just look at these. Eek. So excited. I just bought something little for myself. Look at <laughs> Oh, it's so little. I love it. Ta da. Oh my god, so cute. So I got earrings. Here's one of them. The other one. I love them. They're so cute. Something simple. I love it. <laughs> That's all I got for myself. I like the cute little pouch. <laughs> it's so little. So that's that one. Nothing crazy. Um, and then this one, I actually got for tom so he doesn't care but we're going on a trip and i i have this one for myself and i want him to have a matching one and for the longest time <laughs> he was using this i got this like way back in think like 2016 or something long time ago and this is just a fake kind of like a dupe it doesn't say Louis Vuitton anywhere which is really nice that's why I was like okay this is fine but like it's just so weird and I actually really hate the layout of this because it's hard to put in boarding passes and everything because you know boarding passes are very long so with this one hold on let me so with this, this is the real, like, a real Louis Vuitton um, passport holder. And it has this flap. So it's very secure here in the back, right, with your passport book. And then this is like a folder so you can insert longer documents if you need to and such. Sorry about that. So anyways, for the longest time, I've been wanting him, wanting to get him passport holder like this from Louis Vuitton and I'm like okay I can just go ahead and do that now he's not gonna care he's not even gonna know <laughs> that I, he has one but I finally got it for him because we're going on a few trips and I'm like I feel bad because I have all the nice things and he has this and you know for guys they really don't care but I'm like I just feel bad and it's finally in stock actually in Louis Vuitton for the longest time it was out of stock so <gasps> what okay so I've had mine for years like this is super old let me just take it out um I when did I get this I got this my gosh this is so old like I don't know when I got this maybe like 20 2015 2016 is when I got this yeah mine is old and it's so this is the layout right this is the old version just like that flap little pocket here this is the old version and you see how thin it is this is the new one what this is so much nicer than mine <laughs> Do you see how much thicker it is? 
I hope you guys can see because this is insane. Do you see how much thicker it is? Oh my god, I want one like this. <laughs> okay, the layout of this is actually two folders. Oh my god, and it's like thicker material. I'm jealous. Okay, that's not fair. And like, look at the pockets. I didn't even realize it has extra pockets. And then this pocket down here. Oh my gosh, Tom's is so much nicer than mine. What? And yeah, it's like a folder version now. When this one is just like a slip and then a folder. Oh my god. Uh, maybe I should have got one for myself. This is so nice. And I love the smell of new love <laughs> So it's, um, this is Vachetta leather, the interior is Vachetta leather, and then the outside is coated fabric. How cool. So yeah, for the longest time, this was like out of stock, like this color on the Louis Vuitton site. So yeah, and then it finally is in stock. So I'm like, I'm gonna just get it for him. I keep making sure that our passports are, um, what's it called? Our passports are not expired because we had to renew Liam's. And I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure ours is good. Yeah, it says expire, expires in 2026. 20, so there you go. This is mine and this is his. His is so much better than mine, but I do love the color of... Of mine I love the brown and he has the graffiti but my gosh this is so much nicer cool I love it so this is just kind of how it looks this is where your passport goes and you can put his IDs and whatnot right there and this is what mine looks like my gosh this is so much cooler <laughs> There you go. They are the same size though. See that? They are the same height and width. But his is definitely much thicker. Oh my gosh. So much nicer. It looks so good. I love it. So that's it. That's all I got from Louis Vuitton. Nothing too crazy. I didn't want to go buy so much stuff. Since we are traveling, I also don't want to be broke, you know. <laughs> but I have been buying so much. I will tell you guys that. Like, I've been buying so much to prepare for our trips. It's insane. Um, oh, I love these cute little tags and little cards from Louis Vuitton. I don't think I wrote anything in any of them. I'm pretty sure it's just blank. Yeah, it's just blank. So, anyways... Our passports are ready to go. We're waiting on Liam's. Um, so that's, you know, they'll come in, I don't know, hopefully in the next month because we did expedited it. Um, but yeah. Okay, what's today? Today is Monday. Happy Monday. Just unboxed that because it literally just came in. Now I can donate this dupe. Dupe. Let's see. It's pretty similar. Like I said, this one doesn't doesn't say Louis Vuitton anywhere, which is why I got it. Because I don't like things that's like, you know, a total fake. But it does have the pattern, and you can see this is lighter than the real thing. And look at the stitching. It's so bad. The Louis Vuitton is still thinner. This is really chunky feeling. Yeah give you an idea but it is oh this is actually the, the dupe is much shorter you can see there you can kind of see but it is the same width so there you go i still have more to print this is just what i have printed yesterday to cut today and this is half the orders <laughs> we have some white mats 
but a lot of you love the clear matte which i don't blame you this is also my favorite so i actually just had um more um paper shipped in because i'm almost i'm very low not almost out i'm very low um but anyways yeah i will be cutting stickers all day all day today and hopefully i can get some of like half of the orders shipped out tomorrow and yeah okay bye for now um i actually am going to be filming a quick video all about my hobonichi weeks how it's going and such so stay tuned for that and yeah i have a ton of stuff here oh by the way have you guys ever gotten a suitcase i bought this for liam right because he picked it out he really loves it and it said on there remove film before using and i was like what film and it has this like saran wrap wrapping around the entire thing so i started peeling it off but oh my god it's so hard to peel off like it's easy for the big areas but once you get to the wheels there's some there like how am i supposed to get that off like it's taking me forever i need to use like tweezers and all that to get it off because the perfectionist in me is like i can see the little pieces of plastic around those wheels and i cannot i can't do it so anyways i'm i spent like 30 minutes doing most of this and i'll do it i'll do the rest later tonight because it, it's, there's still some left and it's the most annoying thing ever is like why the heck would they do that because i was just gonna leave it on because you can barely tell but it does make the suitcase look a little not as vibrant and also like there are some scratches in the bottom like the plastic has gotten scratched you know so it doesn't look good so i'm like okay i'm gonna take it off because it actually does say like, take it off too so i don't know it's just like why did they do that why can't you just i don't know not i don't know anyways <sighs> yeah getting ready for trips i have a lot of planning to do I mean, we have time, so it's okay, but, like, it's a lot. Okay, bye for now. I'll check in with you guys again later. I hope you like the little unboxing. <laughs> okay, so we just got some stuff in from Amazon. What is this? Oh, these are adapters for our trip this summer. And this one. But for our upcoming trip... This is going to be handy. I got cord elastic things. I have the Velcro ones, but sometimes the Velcro like sticks on everything else, which is really annoying. So this hopefully is better. It's like silicone -y. I got a new makeup bag, which I'm pretty excited about. And then I had to get one of these because my new phone is a USB-C now. So yeah, I have... Two of these, I think, like the actual Apple ones, because I feel like that's the only ones that really works. I have like a knockoff one, and that one like sometimes doesn't work at all. So yeah, I ended up with two of these for the older version. Um, I don't know why. I think I lost or misplaced it, so I had to buy another one, then I ended up finding it. And anyways, yeah, I have two of those, and now I have this. Now I have three. <laughs> but yeah, this is the only one that will work for my phone at the moment because USB-C. Anyways, let's open this thing. Oh, did I say these are for our other trip? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's look at this. So this is the makeup bag. It's like this. It's very, very small. Um, I've been using... Uh, a Dior makeup bag. It's just like a freebie that I got years ago and my brushes and stuff never fits in it so I always had to bring like a separate thing and I was like oh what if I can find a bag that can do my makeup and brushes. And here it is. It's not big so that's great because I don't bring a whole lot or I don't use a whole lot of makeup anymore and this is like enough room for like the five or four brushes that I do use and a curling lash curler so yeah this is gonna be good i'm excited and yeah i'm just shoving everything in liam's new suitcase 
Maybe I'll do a proper video later. <laughs> Good morning. Just want to show you what my desk looks like. Uh, so I'm actually gonna print some photos so we can memory keep later today. I'm gonna be using my panorama. Close. Oh my good. Because my cutters are doing their thing. So I have my cutters going and my printer is printing. So there's a lot of noise. But I just wanted to say hi. Because <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm doing research for a trip that we're going to go on later this year. So much research but also very excited and grateful that we get to go but yeah i'm also making stickers because you guys i did my release last week and i was so nervous about it because everything was so last minute but you guys loved all the new stuff which i'm so 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 happy about and we got a lot of orders and i'm just so thankful so I am working on orders right now. I hope you can hear me. I'm trying not to like scream at you, but I'm excited. I love making stickers. Like literally that's all I'm doing today is printing and cutting. And hopefully by tonight I get to pack orders and I can ship out tomorrow morning. But like, I love making stickers. I'm also in the process of working on March release lineup because I do have some products coming out so I need to get like the full collection and all of that so I'm really excited to work on all of that oh now everything is stopped okay so anyways just wanted to check in and yeah I'm just happy and I wanted to say thank you <laughs> Whew, I'm so tired Excuse my messy cart here. Um, happy Thursday. I can't believe it's almost the weekend. I feel like this week flew by. I'm so tired. I just finished cleaning the house. Well, not the entire house, really. Um, it's like... I do this every month. I deep clean my house. The other week I did like the main living room and I don't know, I, I already cleaned but I didn't get to the kitchen so today I did the kitchen. After I shipped off, I think, how many orders did I do? I did, I packed 25 last night and then today I think it was like 15 plus 10 and then I did 5 more so like 30, I don't know. So I, I shipped off all of the orders today. I'm tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, after I shipped everything off, I was like, I'm going to film. But, but I was looking at the kitchen and I'm like, I'm going to just clean the stove. And I was cleaning the stove and then I was like, I might as well clean the cap. You know, I just kept going. So I cleaned the entire kitchen, top to bottom, all the cabinets the vent everything everything okay it is spotless kitchen and dining and i just finished mopping as well so when i say mop that's the entire top floor because there's not a whole lot of wood it's just like the hallway the kitchen and the entryways so i mop and i just finished vacuuming the living room and like everything else so I'm tired. Oh, I cleaned Leon's bathroom today too. 
Tomorrow I will do the laundry room and our bedroom, including the bathroom in there. I just, it's never ending. But I want to do this because I do this every month. I deep clean the house. Also spring cleaning. So I have like three bags of things to get rid of. I'm just going to tell Tom, either bring it to Goodwill or throw it away. I really don't care. I just want it out of the house. Um, anyways, I'm tired. I hope you guys are doing well. Oh, I got something today. I got these. So, I asked in my last video if, you, if any of you have any recommendations for something similar to the combos because... I love these, but I hate bringing them with me because they're so long and it never fits any of my pen cases or like any planner bags that I have. It's just way too long. So anyways, uh, some of you, I think one, one person recommended the Sailors and I was like, oh yeah. And I got this one on Amazon. This is the spring, the spring set and it comes with five colors, which I quite like. I almost got the autumn one, but I was like, I gotta branch out and stop using just browns. And these look great and it is much smaller. So I'm excited to try this out. Ooh. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So thank you to whoever recommended this i mean pretty good there i do have the sign pens here let me go get it the sign pens which i like but sometimes i feel like it's it doesn't have like the brush that this does i'll show you okay so i have the zig liners too i like these just for dots um okay so i have the these these are the brush sign and see, they're very small. And I'm looking for something like the Tombow because I like how I can control this better. And also like highlighting is easier. And um, what's it called? What I'm doing or trying to do some sort of calligraphy. It kind of has that really thick brush stroke. I mean, I can do that with this too, but not as easy or thick as this one. So I'm excited. Thank you to whoever recommended this i'm excited i'll play with it tonight but yeah i just got the spring set on amazon i think it was like 15 dollars, so it wasn't too terrible and yeah i just really wanted um something like the combo so i'm excited for this that's all i got today oh i did get one more thing with that order hold on let me show you It's a mini iron. I'm always like complaining when we travel, like my clothes are so wrinkly and I never know how to work the steamer or sometimes the iron looks crusty in the hotel room or whatever. So I'm like, hmm, when I saw this, I was like, ooh, let me check that out. It looks big though, what is this? It looks much smaller. I think there's other things inside. Okay, yeah, so. You got your cord to plug it in. Oh, okay. Little bottle there. I was like, I thought it was flat. It's pretty flat. One thing is it's heavy. Oh, I don't know. I was wanting to bring this on our trip, but it's kind of, it's pretty heavy. I don't know. Maybe I won't bring it, but at least I now have one for if we travel close by or something but i don't know i guess that i would get it it was on sale for like 20 bucks or something but isn't it so cute see it's tiny it's pretty heavy though i don't know i mean it's not bad it's like a curling iron or hair dryer and then it even comes with a mat cool Oh, what I like about this, it's it's dual voltage, so you can bring it anywhere um, abroad. So that's nice. But yeah, I never have much luck with steamers because for some reason, I have a mini steamer, 
but like it's awful and would like get water all over the clothes that I was trying to steam so I hate that because then my clothes would have marks or watermarks and it's just not fun so I was like "Ooh, let me check this out so that is that I don't even know how this was packaged but pretty cool right so I'll link that below if you're interested um okay now I'm holding it more longer it's not too terrible like it's has weight obviously but it's not bad i think i'm just so tired right now that everything feels heavy oh did i ever tell you guys i bought a new vlogging camera it's coming tomorrow which i'm so excited because okay we're going somewhere for spring break again and last year for spring break i really tried to vlog with this camera but like I don't know this camera is just so heavy and it's so big and i hated carrying it around and i hated holding it up i don't know if you guys know i have what is this called man froto i don't know this this tripod is really really good i bought it because it's the sturdiest tripod i've ever had or ever yeah i've ever had but it is really heavy it's like twice the weight of the actual camera so it makes holding it up hard and especially when you're tired and also this camera is so bulky never fits in any of my smaller bags it's always like sticking out i'm always scared i'm gonna drop it or something and i have dropped this that's why i feel like sometimes when it's trying to focus you can hear it focusing it's really annoying actually um but anyways i got a new camera for our trips that are coming up because i really 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 want to vlog like how i used to before and i just i don't know i feel like this camera that i i found it's called the dgi osmo pocket 3 it's it looks amazing and it's so tiny and it looks and i don't know it, it, i guess i'm so excited because i've read so many reviews saying it is small very lightweight and i feel like it can fit in my purses which will be heaven sent because i just i hate carrying this camera because <laughs> it's like i have the bag i always have my phone in my hand and on my other hand i have my camera and i have no free hand so i don't know it's just and this can never fit in my bags it's just frustrating anyways i'm excited once that comes in, I will definitely do an unboxing with you guys and then we can like try it out. I'm really excited. I ordered it on the 5th off of the DJI website and it was supposed to ship out the 12th, but it never shipped out on the 12th, February 12th. They emailed me and said there's a delay and they're gonna try to ship it out within the next 7 days. So I'm like, okay, whatever seven days passed and they called me and they were like oh we're experiencing more delay we can't ship it out until three to four weeks and i was like what three to four weeks so i was just gonna wait but then i looked and that's literally right before our trip and i'm like i don't want to bring a camera that i don't know how to use you know like i don't want to bring a brand new camera like i have no idea how to use it i, I need time to like play with it and know what I'm doing before the trip so I was like no I'm gonna cancel it and I was talking to Grace and she's actually the one that kind of was like what you didn't get it yet and I was like you know what let me look and I looked at Best Buy I had it in stock and I was like I'm gonna cancel this I did I canceled it with DGI and I ordered it on Best Buy so thank you Grace for like asking me about it because otherwise I probably would have just been like whatever um so anyways, I order on Best Buy. The next day, it's shipped out. So it's going to be here tomorrow already. I'm so excited. Same price. So it's like... But it's funny because I already have... Um, oh, right here. Like, I already have these screen protectors to go on it. I bought a new phone case for myself. I bought the wrong SD card. So I'm going to have to return this one. And these are the 
SD cards that works with it. It's like Extreme Pro, blah, blah, blah. It's just a faster, a faster SD card. So I got a 256 gig and a 128 gig to play with. So yeah, this one is going back to Amazon. So anyways, wait, let's do an unboxing. I have a lot of stuff. Okay, this is all I can find right now. I think I have one more somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. It might be in my bedroom, to be honest. Okay, so I have two Pixie packages here. Thank you, Pixie, for always sending me goodies. And you guys know I usually save these for giveaways. Because I can't use all these products. Okay, let's see. Pixie, they always have cute packages. <gasps> Ooh. Oh wow, what is this? Look, look how cute. So cute. Oh wow. Woo. Ah, I totally messed that up. Oh, the whole box comes out. Look at this. Wait, is that a C? That's a C. Which way does it go? It's my initial letter C not focusing hello there we go and then like a this is a pretty color thank you pixie i love me some wax seals y'all know that that's fun i love that okay Ooh, makeup fixing mist Ugh, I was my makeup fixing mist Ooh, rose water and green tea I do like their rose water is it toner. That one is like so good. I love it. Flawless Beauty Primer. Looks like that. Pretty. And last but not the least, we have H2O Skin Veil. Ooh, Hydrating Loose Powder. That looks cool. I'm just going to open it and see. Oh, wow, look at this packaging. I might try this out. I'm almost out of my hourglass. So I could probably try that. Thank you, Pixie. That was a cute little package. I love it. There's another one, so hold on. Oh, wow. Okay, so there is a... Lash Line Ink. Pretty eyeliner. Look at the brush on that. That looks really good. We have liquid fairy lights. Huh. Cute. Glowy powder. I love the packaging on this, like the the cute melons. That's really cute. And lastly, we have tint fix. It's a lip tint. Ooh. That's so cute. Thank you, thank you. That was a cute little packaging. Okay, so this is from Murad Skin Barrier. This side. Okay. I love Murad. Ooh. Better skin at the cellular level. Ooh, I've never tried the purple line. Back up your barrier with Biomimetic Hexapeptide 9 to restore damaged skin by emulating barrier enforcing peptides. Wow. Okay, hold on. We have the Hydration Cellular Hydration Repair Serum. That looks so good. And then we have the Cellular Hydration Repair Mask. And last but not least, we have the Cellular Hydration Repair Cream. Oh my gosh, this packaging looks amazing. What? This is so pretty. I love the colors. Thank you so much, Murad. I love it. So these are step twos. You use these, so after you're cleaning your face, you can either do a mask, 
or apply your serum. And then this is step three for moisturizer. So there you go. That's all of the things. Just kidding. Okay, just one more. Sorry if I don't seem excited. I am. It's just I'm just so tired right now. And last night, I literally had like... I went to bed at like 2 and I woke up at 6. So, like 4 hours of sleep maybe. Maybe. It was terrible. I couldn't sleep. Ugh. Ooh, confidence in a gel cream. Ooh, I'm excited. I love their confidence in a cream moisturizer, but sometimes that feels really thick. So this is a gel. I'm gonna like this more. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So it says gel cream emul emulsion. <laughs> Fresh and quick absorbing lightweight texture. That's that's what I like. That's why I really like the Murad water gel, the blue one. It's great for acne prone. It keeps me clear of acne. And also, it just like sinks right in. I love it. It doesn't clog my pores or anything either. So, it's great. Anyways, this I feel like is going to be that same texture. So, I'm very excited. Um, anyways, this is also anti-aging. So, it has 4% niacinamide and 1.5 squalan. Whatever that one is. It has peptides. Um, so anti-aging skin barrier repair lasting hydration and last but not least oil control system so this is great for oily people hydrates plus reduces excess oil oh my gosh I'm so excited to try this so excited right now I'm using Caudalie's um, the retinol day and night I really really love that oh my gosh that makes my skin feel like so good and like smooth so that's what i've been using i've been using the serum followed by my dior eye cream and then the day cream oh no and then the water gel by murad because i need my acne to stay away and then um and then i go in with the moisturizer so yeah you know it's probably a lot but my skin is clearer than ever so I know a lot of you want me to um, share my skincare routine. Maybe I will. I don't know. Honestly, if you have watched my old videos, um, probably like my last, if ever, if I did one, my last one that I ever did, it's probably the same products. I am use I use the same products because my skin, I don't know. I'm a creature of habit. So I honestly have been using the same things for years. Except for my moisturizers, I do like to switch it up. Like, I still use the Mura water gel, but as, as you see, like, I use a different cream. Um, like, right now, I'm using the Caudalie one, and I really like that one. So, yeah. But for the most part, like, cleansers and, like, the things that really gets into your skin, it's the same stuff. Anyways, okay, that's it for now. I gotta put all this away. I don't know where it's gonna go. Um... So yeah, I might make actually a little basket for my friend because she is, oh my gosh, I'm like blanking out. Her gra graduation party is this weekend, so I'm really proud of her and I want to make her like a pretty basket. So I might throw some of this stuff in there because I know she likes skincare as well. So I might do that and then get her flowers or something and chocolate, I don't know, something. Something that says congratulations. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's it for now. I don't know what this video consists of, so I'll check in with you guys again later. Maybe, maybe. So, kind of hard to tell from that video clip, but it's snowing outside. Yesterday, it was literally like 55, 58. It was so warm. You didn't need a jacket. And today, it's freezing. Like, I'm pretty sure it's in the 20s today, 29. 
because my car dings whenever it's like the temperature is that low because it um, tells you like it might be icy and it did it today and I was like why anyways did I show you guys this yesterday I really like this I was playing with it last night and this morning and I really really like it so I'm very happy with this again thank you to whoever recommended it um anyways I am home now um what did I do this morning did my workout gave sushi a bath because I think it's been two weeks since she had one so I'm like you really need a bath every time she goes outside she gets all muddy and I'm just like oh, I'm so sick of always like wiping her paws but like you got to um but anyways I gave her like the full treatment this morning I spent like an hour and a half just trimming everything else nail clipping like everything she literally had a spa day today this morning and then after that she had a vet appointment to do some tests because i don't know if i told you guys but she has a heart murmur so we kind of want to you know make sure she's good so she had tests done today hopefully they come back good for tomorrow i mean she's doing really well it's just like there's something i forget what it's called but her potassium is low or something i don't know but i was like okay let's just make sure it's fine so she got more tests done today just you know to make sure um also her birthday is on the 25th which is this sunday so i'm like perfect you're gonna get a spa day today make sure everything is good you're gonna look great for your birthday <laughs> i don't know anyways yeah and she was so excited for a car ride it's so funny because um, usually she's like no but today she was good like she usually whines in the car but today she literally just sat in the passenger seat and was good and I was like who are you um, so she liked the car ride this morning and also I'm so proud of her for going inside the vet like you know I walk her in a leash she just walked right in there dogs from both sides just starts barking at her and they're big dogs and she's just like looking at them like and <laughs> i was shook that she did not bark back because usually she barks back but today she was just like whatever um so yeah pretty proud of her for that um anyway she did really good at the vet uh so we're just waiting on results we should have that by tomorrow anyways finally home now i just ate a little bit of lunch and now i'm gonna edit videos i have this vlog that you're seeing right now and also another video um for next week and then i'm thinking i'm gonna film another video i'm not sure i really want to do like monthly favorites back in the day if you've been watching me i used to do like monthly favorites and that was like super cool back then let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see next week because it's gonna be march first next week like how how is it march already like it's just gone by so fast so anyways next week let me know in the comments if you want to see like a favorites video and it's just gonna consist of everything that i love for the month like a new thing maybe that i love for the month um like so if i got something that month do i like it that's what I'm going to share because I remember back then I would share my favorites and as I mentioned I am a creature of habit so for a while like it wasn't as fun back then because like it was just like me talking about the same products because I love the same things every month and I use the same things every month you know so it was like eh, I don't really want to do this so I think if I do it now it's going to be products that I got the month of and if i like it and if there's nothing new then i'm not gonna do one you know what i mean so let me know if that is something you would be interested in because i did get quite a bit of stuff this month stationary wise mostly pens you guys know and pens and ink i did get one ink that i'm like in love with and i actually bought the full bottle of it i think i showed you guys i don't remember did i i don't remember if i even showed you guys i don't know but anyways yeah um let me know. I think that would be really, really fun. I haven't done a favorites video in forever. So 
maybe this first one is gonna be January and February um yeah let me know in the comments and it could be lifestyle it could be stationary like everything just let me know I don't want to like limit myself to just beauty products that's what I used to do before just beauty products beauty favorites of the month you know it's kind of like how many foundations and lipsticks can you try in a month like I don't I can't believe that was me <laughs> anyways oh I did get questions about this hold on see this this tripod thing that I'll link it in the description box and in my Amazon store I used to have um, the tripod just like that, just like the top part of it, that clips onto a desk. So I'll have a link of that one in the description box as well as this freestanding one. Um, preferably if, you, if your table is very sturdy and does not shake, I totally recommend the one that just clamps onto your table because it's not as bulky as this one. Like this is a entire stand and everything. It's kind of hard to maneuver where I have it right now so like yeah if you have you know a really sturdy table I recommend the other one but if you have a table like this one like mine and shakes every time you touch it I recommend this whole stand situation so I'll, I'll just link it down below in the description box and also my Amazon store you'll see it there I did clean the kitchen like I said yesterday let me show you that so you can see a little bit of my life I suppose um, I'm, I didn't get to clean today because like I said I've, I've just been lying around so hold on <gasps> who is that come here come here come here little old lady hello pop hello <laughs> so you see this sparkly shiny floors yes this is the kitchen I didn't do the dishes from last night so I should do that um, but here's my coffee station I guess did I ever show you guys this I got this cute little little tree was it a mug tree stand I don't know a mug stand holder thing so Tom makes cups this is Liam's this is Tom's and then these are just my Mackenzie and Child's but I'll link that below. It's super cute. It's Mackenzie Charles. I think it's like under 40 bucks. Super affordable. My lovely coffee maker. I love this Nespresso machine. It's so cute. I love the cute little screen on top. And just, I love this. And I actually just descaled it last night because it was yelling at me. Anyways, kept this pretty simple this time around. These are from Target. I love them. And they're actually really heavy. And you know... I didn't notice because like I don't know when you buy it this is in the front and this is behind it like in the packaging so you can't really see this one right but do you guys see that the matting is like crooked do you, do you see what I'm saying it's crooked I'm telling you it's crooked compared to this one this one's good but the matting on this one is so crooked but whatever let's just not stare at it um, these are from Mackenzie Childs. It's the royal blue, which I have right here. I have two mugs. Uh, I used the other one today. And then these are the black black and white courtly check one. So this is the royal check. That's the blue, my favorite. Um, but this is going to change soon because spring is coming. So I will bust out all my green Mackenzie Childs and like my white floral ones. Um, anyways, it's almost Easter. So I have my cute little bunny here. I got this from... I think TJ Maxx and it's actually really heavy it's like brass I love it so that's what my coffee bar looks like at the moment just something really simple I'm thinking of switching this switch plate to like a brass I don't know should I commit I think that would be cute but then there's another one over there so it would be two brass I think I would just do that one because that's the one you can see and this one's always hidden so anyways that's that yeah, need to do dishes. Don't look at that. And this is what this looks like. Did I ever show you guys this? I had a white one before, but it was really tall. So it was really hard to get stuff out because of this, you know. So I found this at Walmart and I love it. It's the beautiful brand. And I love that it's short and like it's easier to get the knives out. And also I got new... New things like these. 
It's wooden handles. I love it. This also, Mackenzie Childs, salt and pepper shakers. And like, yes. Oh, so clean. Tom cooked last night and I was like, you better wipe it down because I, I heard all the splashes. He did. I don't have anything in our fruit bowl right now though. And here's just, this is supposed to go over here. Okay. Um, don't mind this. This is for Sushi's medication. I will put it away by after she takes her second set of pills. But that's that. That's just our kitchen. Sorry, so dark. Um, and then this is our dining. It always looks like this. There's always stuff over here because I have a son and... Yeah, this is actually not bad. There's usually a ton of toys, but I told him to put his toys away the other day and it's been pretty clean. <laughs> yeah, I have laundry going. And this is the living room. I promise I cleaned it, but last night, you know, the boys and... Oh, hi! Hi, you can still kind of see all the... Some car... Like, what is it called? The... The lines from the vacuum from yesterday. What? Hi, are you so cute and fluff? You keep sneezing, stop it. Oh, I got these pillows, let me show you. These are from, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is from TJ Maxx, I'm so sorry, it's so messy. <laughs> there, supposed to look like that, okay? But this is from TJ Maxx, and isn't, it, isn't it so cute? I love it. I love that pattern with the blue, with my blue pillowcases from Amazon that's like velvet. Love, love. And then over here I just have white pillows that always get squished. Of course there's toys on the table, of course. Toys everywhere. I wanted to show you this though. Look at these cute eggs. I found it at TJ Maxx. I love cute little eggs. I have so many, you guys. And that is the dryer, I think. But anyways, um, all my eggs that I usually have, like porcelain eggs, are chinoiserie. So they look like this vase. But I was like, I really love these. With the bunnies for Easter. I love Easter decor, if you can't tell already. Like, yeah. See, there's a bunny over here. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Real life. Anyways, cute little bun bun here. And then I also have a bunny over here. Yup, super cute. This is our entryway or foyer. We have bunnies here too. See? Bunnies to greet you. And sushi. Hi! <laughs> So there you have it. You saw a little bit of our house. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to wrap up this video because I don't want it to be super long and I need to edit. Yeah. <laughs> I have so much to do, but it's like I don't want to do anything. I'm so tired. I finally slept good last night though, so that's something. Okay, but anyways, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this random video. A lot of you told me to do more day in a life videos like this so i hope you enjoyed this one my camera's coming today my new one so i'm gonna try to like vlog all weekend with it i'm so excited i'm so excited yeah okay so anyways all right bye for now i will see you guys on monday i can't believe it's friday yeah i'll see you monday bye